Nam, hujambo na karibu kwa Moving Pictures Kenya. Mimi naitwa Bonventure ama ukipenda niite BC. Leo tuko hapa kwa Immaculate Conception of the Blessed Virgin Mary Church hapa Scranton. Tumekuja kushiriki kwa misa ya Kiswahili. Tumefika kuchelewa lakini wahenga walisema heri kuchelewa kuliko kukosa. Cha muhimu ni tuhudhurie ibada ya Jumapili hii leo na ni ibada katika lugha ya Kiswahili hapa Marekani karibuni So one bottle is mine, and the two 
are for my brothers. So it was strange that he continued doing like that. At the same time, he changed his his, his practice now. He started using ordering and using two bottles instead of three. One day, another day, using two instead of three. So the waitress, the same waitress came and said, Sir, my condolences. It seems you lost one of your brothers. That's why now, instead of using three bottles, you are using two bottles. So the man said, No, my brothers are alive and they are well. And in fact, the two bottles are for my brothers, I'm still drinking on their behalf. What is mixed, what is missing is my bottle because I quit drinking for rent. So we begin the Lenten journey now. This is the first Sunday. And uh, during Lent we focus on three and uh, four main activities. Number one, repentance. Then number two, prayer. Number three, fasting. Then number four, arms giving. And that's why in the gospel we are told how Jesus spent 40, 40 days and 40 nights fasting and praying. And this becomes the foundation of our Lenten season. 40 days and 40 nights. And then we are reminded that this is a moment where we need to come close to God. And that's why we hear in the second reading, St. Peter is talking about the water of the flags during the time of war. He connects it with the baptism, the water that washes away our sins. So then we are reminded of baptism that we have to keep our baptismal promises, to keep our faith alive. And uh, in the second reading, we are told something very important. How Jesus came to save us. He laid down his life to save us. In fact, there is this uh, St. Thomas Aquinas, the angelic uh, doctor, put it nicely. He said, Jesus paid the debt he didn't owe. Because we owed the debt we couldn't pay. So we come today saying, Thank you, Lord, for loving us so much and laying your life to save us. So this is why we spend this time imitating Jesus Christ our Lord and uh, examining ourselves to see where do we go wrong. And we are making our ways to correspond to God's way. Just an invitation. The woman. Now who knows what story is this? Can you tell me about that? Yes. 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 Kuna mtu moja wa mtumia hadithi kwamba papa alikuwa amekabidhiwa mshumaa akapewa mshumaa kutumia ile miguu ya mbele akishika mshumaa mtu wa mshumaa mzuri sasa kuna paka ambao wamefundishwa vizuri hawali chakula cha watu wanakula chakula chao tu sasa wakaleta nyama ile kanga vizuri wakaweka mbele paka Hakutishumulisha na hiyo nyama. Wakaleta samaki. 
Imetayarishwa vizuri sana paka hakujali akapata mshika mshumba lakini ghafla akapita nyoka akapita panya amekimbia paka akatupa hiyo huo mshumba akamfukuza panya Malaki ni kwamba kila binadamu ana kishawishi chake ana unyonge wake sasa wakati wa kuwaresu tunajiuliza unyonge wangu ni upi Mungu wangu nifunulie ni kio unyonge wangu Unyonge unaweza ukawa katika kushindwa katika uaminifu kwenye maisha ya ndoa inaweza ikawa hasira Unyonge unajiuliza ni wakati wa kujiuliza panya wangu ni nani Yaani mpaka akiona panya anaacha kila kitu anachanganyikiwa mpaka mkamate huyo panya Sasa panya wangu ni nani Inaweza ikawa uivu Inaweza ikawa kinyongo kutosame majuu mambo mbalimbali kwa hiyo hiki ni kipindi cha kujitazimini mbele ya Mwenyezi Mungu kusali na kuomba msaada wa Mwenyezi Mungu ili tuweze kuya shinda hayo mapungufu yetu kwa hiyo kipindi cha karisma ni kipindi, kipindi cha kutubu lakini lazima tujue dhambi zetu lazima tujue ugomvi wetu ndio maana ni kipindi cha kutafakari kwa hiyo kipindi cha kutubu kipindi cha kusali hata kusali zaidi kipindi cha kufunga kama tunavyo tunavyoandaa kwa baba wetu Yesu Kristo alifunga kwa siku 40 na ki, ki, ni kipindi cha kufanya matendo ya Mungu mema kuwasaidia wanyonge kuwasaidia kuishinda mali mbaya hata kuwaombea wale ambao wanaangaika kwa hiyo nawashukuru sana kwa imani ambayo mnaonyesha nawashukuru sana kwa sala zenu kwa mambo yote yaliyo mema tuendelee kumuunga Mwenyezi Mungu atulinde atuongoze na mwisho wake tukitoka hapa duniani atufikishe ile mbele kwa jina la Baba na la Mwana na la Roho Mtakatifu
serikali ili Mwenyezi Mungu awaongoze katika kazi zao eh hey, bwana
ikubalike kwa Mungu Baba Mwenyezi
twaende mle nyote huo ndio mwili wangu utakao tolewa kwa ajili yenu Vivyo hivyo baada ya kula akitwaa kikombe na kushukuru tena aliwapo wafuasi wake akisema Tuwaeni mume nyote hiki ndicho kikombe cha damu yangu damu ya agano jipya la milele itakayomwagika kwa ajili yenu na kwa ajili ya wengi kwa maombi ya dhambi fanyeni hivi kwa ukumbusho wangu Fumbo la imani Fumbo la imani Yesu amekufa Fumbo la imani Yesu amekufa Yesu atarudi
Değerli Arman
Uh, kwa majina mimi naitwa uh, Sylvain Abiangwa Oredi. Kwanza nimeshukuru sana kwa sababu uh, tumepata nafasi kwa siku ya leo na kuweza kukutana tena kwa mara nyingine hii. Uh, mimi nimetokea Afrika nchi ya Kongo eh, mkristu wa Roman Catholic na tuko hapa miaka tano niko pa Marekani kwa sasa hivi hapa tuna misa ya Kiswahili ambayo tumefungua na hatujawa na siku ni mwezi uliopita ndio tulifungua misa ya Kiswahili hapa kwetu Scranton Pennsylvania basi pamoja na hiyo kwa kweli tumeshukuru sana wa Kristu wote na kabla ya hapo hatujafungua misa ya Kiswahili kweli tulikuwa na ugumu sana tulikuwa na ugumu sana kwa sababu eh, wa Kristu wengi hawajue uh, Kiingereza yani misa zote ilikuwa inapitika katika lugha ya Kiingereza sasa ilikuwa ni changamoto kubwa sana kwa wa Kristu wetu uh, kwa sababu hawajue lugha ya Kiingereza wanaongea Kiswahili basi tumepata nafasi hii kwa uh, mapadri wakakubali kweli kufungua misa ya Kiswahili hapa na kweli tunazimisha misa ya Kiswahili. Kwa hiyo tunaendelea kushukuru sana uh, mapadri pamoja na Wakristo wote kwa kushirikiana kwa pamoja. Asante sana. Kwa kuwa ingali misa bado ingali inaanza uh, walio wengi kabisa watambue kama misa ya Kiswahili ishaanza hapa kwetu Scranton na hilo ndo jengo hapa. Kwa hiyo wanaweza wa wakawa nafika eh, kila Jumapili baada ya wiki tatu eh, wiki, wiki ya tatu ya, ya kila mwezi tunakuwa na misa hapa Kiswahili kwa hiyo wale wote ambao wajui kupitia labda eh, TV yetu hapa wanaweza wakajua kweli tu kuna misa ya Kiswahili na ilishaanza na wajipe moyo ya kuwa wanaingia hapa eh, kwenye misa ya Kiswahili asanteni sana mimi naitwa sister Nancy Kamau na I'm a little sister of St. Francis of Assisi and I'm here in Scranton, Pennsylvania and I came here uh, in 2018. I work for a foundation called the African Sisters Education Collaborative and it's uh, located here in Marywood University. But I'm here today to announce that we, we have a Swahili Mass, uh, one that we started last month and we are so happy and we welcome everybody who wants to come and join us to pray with us for the masses. We have masses every third Sunday of the month and the, it is here in the Immaculate Conception Church in Scranton, Pennsylvania. We welcome everyone who wants to join us and come and pray with us uh, so that we can worship together. It is our joy. Thank you very much. Ninalangu ni Sister Julieta. Katole mduma kwetu nyumbani ni Tanzania. Mimi nimekuja hapa kama missionary kwa kufanya kazi ya kitume wala kusaidia watu. Manake huo ndio ujumbe wetu tunaotakiwa tufanye hapa Amerika. Na kweli misa ya Kiswahili ninaipenda sana maana tuliona kuwa kuna hitaji la wenzetu ambao wana shida ya kuongea Kiingereza. Kwa hiyo ni vizuri sana kwa kuwa na misa ili walau tushirikiane kwa pamoja na wao wajisikie nyumbani ili tukiimba au tukiitikia misa walau tujue kuwa sasa tunaitikia nini na tuelewe tunachokifanya nashukuru sana mapadri ambao wamekubali nashukuru sana jimbo hili la la, la Scranton kwa kukubali kutukaribisha na tunafurahia na kila mwezi kila mwezi tunakuwa na misa moja kwa hiyo wale ambao wangesikia habari hii tunawakaribisha sana jamani karibuni tuweze kushiriki kwa pamoja asante sana okay my name is sister roselen karuirwa i'm born in kenya uh, kenya is in east africa and i belong to the community of nazareth sisters of the annunciation I came in the United States in 2000 and um, 2013 in Iowa and after Iowa I came to Pennsylvania three months ago and when I heard about this white mass I was so happy because I felt at home and when I came 
there were many of them there and I'm praying God that many can come so that we can promote our countries, our languages and all this because when we hear it's only English and uh, we may forget even our language. So I'm asking the people who belong to Africa, they can join us so that we can be attending this soil mass. It's very good and more so to remember where we came from, to remember our root. Because some people we came, we forgot where we came from. I'm happy that I'm born in Kenya. I'm happy I'm born in Africa. Please, my sisters and brothers, come, we join together and continue celebrating the wonder of God. Welcome. Hello, everyone. My name is Father Barnabas Shayo. I'm, I'm a missionary priest of the Religious Institute of the Apostles of Jesus, and I come from Tanzania, uh, eastern part of Africa. I was so happy to be here today to celebrate here with the members of this parish, the Swahili Mass, which is a very good language. Uh, that's my national language and it's very interesting to celebrate the Mass in the language that I'm very much familiar. And uh, to see people coming over to join us for this wonderful celebration, the liturgy. So I'd like to encourage you, wherever you are, if you can join us here to the the Church of the Immaculate Conception in Scranton Catholic Diocese for Mass every Sunday, the third Sunday of the month at 2 o'clock. Please come, bring your friends, bring your relatives, and other people too who have never heard this language before, even if they don't speak it, but just invite them to come and celebrate with us. I'd like also to invite you to St. Patrick Catholic Parish in the Diocese of Allentown in Passfield. That's where I work as an associate pastor. Whenever you have a mass, I'll let you know. And if you can join us, please come and be with us. So again, thank you so much and God bless you. We are praying for you. We pray for each other. It's a ministry that God has called each one of us to continue to evangelize, to preach, talk to the people, and to even to reach the people in the best language that we can. And so Swahili is a good one of the languages. Thank you very much and God bless you. Yeah, Father, Kiswahili. Eh, mimi nasema na hata padi barna basishayo ni mwanashirika wa shirika la mitume wa Yesu ni misionari hapa Marekani na tokea nchi Tanzania na Kiswahili Tanzania ndio lugha yetu ya taifa na kazi kubwa ni kukuza lugha yetu ya taifa kwa sababu ndio lugha tuliyosomea kuanzia chekechea primary secondary na pia ndio lugha ambayo tunatumia kwa ajili ya mawasiliano huko majumbani ninapopata nafasi ya kushiriki hiyo lugha hapa nchi ni Marekani najisikia kwanza niko nyumbani kwanza na kiingereza pembeni alafu naanza kuongea Kiswahili kinaniletea kina kujisikia niko nyumbani na kumbe sio mimi mwenyewe tu pia kuna watu maeneo haya ambao na pia wanajua Kiswahili kwa tunapopata kukutana pamoja kushiriki katika ibada takatifu ya misa na kumtukuza Mungu kwa lugha ambayo na nyumbani inatugusa sio tu kwenye akili hata kwenye mioyo yetu pia tunajisikia kweli tunahamasika sana kwa hiyo ningeomba wale ambao Mnaweza tukawafikia kwa njia hii hata kama nakaa kidogo mbali na ile kanisa la Bikira Maria mkingi wa dhambi asili basi karibu sana hapa Jimbo Katoliki la Scranton ujumuike na sisi kila Jumapili ya tatu ya mwezi saa nane kamili tuna ibada takatifu ya misa hapa ya Kiswahili pia parokia naye kaa ya mtakatifu Patrice Jimbo Katoliki la Allentown kuna misa ya Kiswahili pia mara moja moja tutajaribu kuipanga. Kwa hiyo siku tutakapopanga misa nitatuma ujumbe kwa viongozi wa hii parokia hapa alafu atawajulisheni mkifika pia kujumuika na sisi na hawa wakristo wenzetu wa mataifa mengine waweze kuona kumbe na hawa watu wanajua kumtukuza Mungu sio tu kwa lugha ya Kiingereza hata kwa lugha ya nyumbani ambayo ni lugha ya Kiswahili. Kwa hiyo asanteni sana Mungu azidi kwa bariki na karibuni katika ibada takatifu ya misa.